All right there guys, how are you all doing? Over there is the city of Venice. Very famous city, built on 10 million tree trunks, would you believe? And here I am, literally on the other side of Venice. Over there, you can see the city. I'm in Lido di Venezia today. So this is a barrier island, protecting the city from the sea, from all the elements. Let's go have a look around this, Lido, the other side of Venice. One of the first things I noticed about Lido in comparison with uh, regular Venice is that there are actually roads, there's actually cars. You can uh, drive around on this island if you want. And that's because it's a natural island. Okay, it's an island formed naturally by the way the waves have blown sand around over the years and now there's actually this barrier island protecting Venice. Wow, look up at these grand houses. A real contrast to Venice. This isn't exactly what you think of when you think of Venice, but this is technically part of Venice. It's an 11 kilometer long island. It's a bit wider in the north than in the south. It consists of the cities of Lido and then there's another small village down in the south somewhere. All right, so here we are arriving now at the beach in Lido, looking out into the Adriatic Sea. And look at the power of those waves. And it's when you come here that you really start to understand why Venice is built exactly where it is in the lagoon. It's built in the lagoon with this uh, natural barrier island protecting it because the powerful waves coming in from the Adriatic can lap up against these shores instead of the shores of the city, which of course would cause problems for the locals. And I guess you can also say that this is the original Venice Beach. So anyone in California watching, I'm right now at the original Venice Beach. Not quite so many hipsters. I've got to say in comparison with the hustle and bustle of Venice city center where I was yesterday, this is a really nice contrast, very relaxed very chilled out especially this time of year it's the shoulder season so it's uh, mid-september and not so many people around not so busy here on venice beach so the summer season is clearly coming to an end here as they're taking down some of the infrastructure and i think it had to do probably with the venice film festival which happens every year at the end of august and beginning of september and it happens here on this very island and we've just missed it So look at this fancy hotel opposite the Cinema Palace. But lots of famous film stars have stayed there before. Look, look at all the details on the windows and the chimneys, the dome up there. It seems to be called the Excelsior Hotel. So look, the Hotel Excelsior, this exclusive hotel, even has its own private pier, which I guess connects directly to Venice itself. So the film stars arrive, they can get off the train or whatever and go directly on a boat here. Did you know that Venice has a rugby club? And here's their little stadium. Look at that, it looks a bit temporary, but yeah, there you go. And these little houses opposite the stadium. <laughs> so look at all the different sandwiches you can buy in this little bar we've stumbled across. The prawns, little pizzini, pancette, radicchio, radicchio is famous from here as well. Hot salami and cheese. So I've decided to try a local speciality as a drink. Look, spritz made with select, which is apparently the version of spritz from Venice. So let's give it a try, see if it's any good, shall we? Oh, it's got, it's got an olive in it. Okay, interesting. No idea how you drink this. Correct me in the comments if I'm doing it wrong. Oh, it's nice, quite bitter. Do you want to try? Yeah. Oh, how rude of me. I didn't introduce my guest for today. This is Cristina. Cristina is de Ecuador. Hola, ¿qué tal? Molto bene. <laughs> ¿Qué crees? ¿Te gusta? Sí. Me gusta. Mm. Yeah, it's got that nice bitterness. Now we've got cheese and prosciutto crudo, uh, piadina, and yeah, look, there's a bit of grease dripping off the bottom of it, which means it should be delicious. Let's give it a try. It's still hot. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, it's good. I'm not sure about having the prosciutto warm. I think I prefer it cold, but it is still nice like this. Que opinas? Muy bueno. I'm not really sure what to do with it. Do I eat it or do I just leave it in there? I have no idea. Mm. 
What a view you get here of Venice and its surrounding islands, look at that. Pure vibes here at Venice Beach, look. All right, so we've walked a little bit further up the beach, lovely little beach walk all the way up here. There's a lighthouse over there, um, but it's still quite far away, so we're gonna start heading back now. But I wanted to show you this little uh, lifeboat. Look at this. In the UK, we've got these big kind of inflatable lifeboats uh, which go out to save people. And look at this little thing here, um, made of, I don't know, some kind of plastic, some kind of hard plastic. Um, not sure it's gonna do much. It's a blue flag beach. Look, that means that it's uh, nice and clean and uh, safe to swim at and all that kind of stuff, you know? The lighthouse is called the Faro di San Nicolo, the St. Nicholas Lighthouse. And there's another one on the other side as well. And that is the entrance to Venice Lagoon over there. So any uh, boats coming in, they have to kind of come in. Or there's a, an entrance down in the south as well, where if you're coming in through this one, your boat's going to have to go between the two lighthouses over there. Pretty much the only sediment, apart from the sand on the beach, is shells. It's all shells. Incredible how huh? it must be something about the geography here, the way the, the water picks up uh, rock sediment of a certain size. I'm just walking over loads and loads of dead animals' homes. Look at this. The word Venice, it evokes beauty in every language. Venice, Venezia in Italian, Venezia in Spanish, Venice en Francais. And then in German, of course, the most romantic full language you've got, Venedig. I'm sure you'll agree that that is the most beautiful way of saying Venice. I bet this is where the, the posh Italians come on holiday. Look at this. Absolutely empty now this time of year. It's only mid-September, but the season's definitely over. Look at that. Oh, there's a lilo at least. Up here you've got the Grand Hotel de Bain, big hotel of the baths, and it looks pretty abandoned from here it's absolutely massive and in a pretty poor condition from the outside it looks pretty impressive from the beach but um, when you get up close yeah you can see just how run down it is time for an ice cream thing I don't look at these ¿Qué pasó tomar? so I'm a very lucky boy I've been treated to an ice cream look stracciatella and we got banana and limone right I've just tried it and it's absolutely perfect it's nice and light it's quite milky delicious Perfect. It's a thumbs up from us. It's got these dark chocolate pieces in there which just complement the ice cream itself perfectly. Right, so somebody's just told me they've had a bit of a cultural shock in the toilets here in uh, what looks like the world's oldest cafeteria here in Lido. Look at this. It's like stepping back in time. Shall we go have a look in the bathroom? As a Brit, when we come to the continent, sometimes we uh, have some cultural differences and uh, this kind of little squat toilet is something we expect to see in French service stations, but not in Italian snack bars, especially not in Venice. So yeah, look at that. Put your feet on there, and then you do your business, and then you flush up there. That was our day out in Lido. Would I recommend it? Uh, maybe, yes. It was a nice place to go, very relaxing. Is it worth 19 euro return on these ferries? I'm not so sure. Also, you have to wear this mask still the rest of europe is opening up and letting you not wear masks and we're still having to stop breathing uh, so well in these masks so it's a little bit ridiculous so sort yourself out venice um two things i don't like the price of the public transport and you still got to wear these but apart from that great day out what did you think there is a nice beach right in front of venice which is nice so i love the day over here there we go so nice beach um come here if you think it's worth 19 euro okay then guys take care uh, see you on the next one.